natural divas. It is I, the naturally mature one, coming to you with another video. I know y'all saying, that heifer came back. Yes, I am back. I told you I'm going to try to do one every week. <laughs> every week. So, here's my first video. Today I'm going to discuss um, my everyday routine when it comes to my makeup. And before I get show you this video and we get started, I want to introduce y'all to someone who is very special to me. She's my little guest today. Um, she's not going to let me do this by myself. So here she is. My sweetness. This is Nia. Say hi, Nia. Hi. This is my granddaughter. She's here today to watch me do this video. Um, but yeah, she, uh, she's my light of my life. She keeps me going. But um, as I stated, this video is going to show my everyday routine when it comes to my makeup. Um, something I do before I go to work every day or if I even go want to put on makeup. It don't take me long. It's nothing dread me. Nothing major and um, dramatic. And um, as I first want you to know that I am not an MUA. This is just you know, showing you what I do as a 55-year-old woman to get ready to get up out of this house every day. So if you would like to see this, continue to watch. Okay, guys, the first thing I do when it comes to my makeup routine is I try to um, prep my face because at a certain age, you got to start taking care of your skin and everything because, you know, people say black don't crack. It does. It just do it slower. So um, I am making sure I take care of my skin because no one taught me that when I was younger. No one said to moisturize, to tone to um, put serums on to really give your the feed your face the moisture it needs before you throw on all that makeup so Now my face is moisturized for the day. Go ahead and brush my eyebrows. All right, got some brush. Then the next thing I do is put some primer on. I got my face moisturized. Now it's primer. I use the Milk Matte Primer. Momo, I can't hold you and do this too, baby. Gammy can't hold you. You big girl. I take a dab of do ya. And guys, if you see me looking off to the side, I'm got a mirror right here on the other side of me. On that side. On that side. Yeah, on that side. I'm <laughs> trying to get I'll put primer because I'm a very oily girl. Um because oil and makeup and i'm already an oily girl makeup added on and then in old age well mature age i'm having those hot glasses i'm going through menopause so i always try to put primer on to help with the oil and so the um whoa yeah whoa so it won't penetrate my face can you pick it up for gammy no i don't need that thank you All right, guys, I'm getting either a little rusty at this, but I'm coming along. I'm getting there. Um, the first thing I do is do my brows. I'm never, I'm not a stickler about being where they got to be snatched. I mean, that's not me. But that's just not me. But this is an everyday thing. I use this brow bar head. I can't remember who it is. It's made by, but I don't know if you can see this, but that's the name of it. Brow bar. I gotta look and see. I'll try to put in the description of where I got it from. I mean, who makes it? I can't remember. I just got a lot of old stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna bullcrap you. That's what it is. 
I'm trying to just use it. And I like this because it has the four colors in it. In the two colors, it has a, it had a pan. You see that's gone. It had a pan of concealer. And then it has where um, highlighter in it. But I use the brown. And what I do, I just put a few strokes to cover up where my brows has disappeared because of when I had radiation. Um, they thin it out and they haven't really came back through. And then older, and then getting older, they thin out too. So between radiation and maturing, my brows thinned out. And I don't, you see, I don't put them much, but I stroke up and I try to fill in the gaps. So it can look like I at least have some daggone brows. And that's mostly what I, all I do. Nothing fancy, nothing extra. I just wanted to have some brows on my face. So after that, I take my, <laughs> I saw this from one of the young ladies a long time ago. I don't, can't remember her name, but she was a makeup guru. And it wasn't Jackie Arnold, it was another young lady. But she used Gerard Cosmetics, if I could see that. Gerard Cosmetics Concealer. And I don't know what color this is in, but I know it's the fairest color in the in the palette um, when it comes to women of color. And I just take a little bit of this because this has lasted a long time. One of these can last me when it comes to my eyebrows. This is all I use this one for is my eyebrows. It can last almost three months. So I take a little bit and go under my eyebrow and work the bottom. And then do the other side. Get on the corners. And some over the top. And you see I haven't dipped it back in my Gerard at all, back into the container at all. Because I don't use a lot. And that is where I take my sponge. And I just even it out, blend it in. Oh, my little girl, she kind of stepped up, stepped out for a while because she was just talking, and I'm trying to tape. And I love her dearly, but she's just a talker. She get that from her game each camp, so, and she's at that age where she want to know all the questions. She has so many questions and why. And I know she's right there, right, probably trying to get back in here. But that's how she is. But this is what I do when it comes to my brows. Nothing but simple. Just simple. Just simple. All right. And then the next thing I do after I did that, I take another um, Gerard Cosmetic, but I had it in a darker tone. I wish I could tell you what it was, but I can't remember. If I can, I'll put it in the description box down below what, what shade of each one it is. And this is it right here. And you see, that's almost gone because I use this more. It's a little darker shade, shade. And I take this, and I do not have no numbered um, brushes or nothing like that. Because I told you, I'm not an MUA. I'm just a regular old person. But I believe these were Morphe brushes that I bought a long time ago. Um, they still lasting. Um, I should have cleaned it before I used it. But hey, I just used it yesterday, but it's all good. So I take this. My granddaughter's peeping around the corner again. So I just take it and I put it on my lids, put my darkened lids to try to bring some light to them. Anyway, I'm just doing my makeup. All right, so there we go. That is on. Then I take some of my um, setting powder, and it is the Derma Blend. I love the Derma Blend. You see, it's empty. I have a new one over here. I haven't opened yet, but I'm gonna, I had to take the pop it off and get all I can out of it because I'm not wasting nothing when it comes to my um, my product. So Derma Blend because I buy my own. Um, I take a sponge, a triangle sponge, and I just pat it in there. Dab it, and I just set it. 
Let's do this one. Do the same over here. On the other side. Set. And look at that. I probably took a year off right there. A year. All right. So the next thing I do, if I want some shade or shadow, I go ahead and put my shadows in. Let me tell you something. I had one shadow I got from Boxy Charm, and it was this um my dominique cosmetic palette this palette i love to pieces i had it about a good six months maybe six months to a year i'm not for sure but let me tell you how bad i've done good into this look at this don't talk about me don't judge me don't judge i want you to know right now do not judge me but here we go look at that i didn't hit the palette in almost every every color i love this i'm trying to not to buy another one until I really have to, um, because what it does when I run out of one color, it makes me go to another. Because I'm a person that try, you know, don't change. I hate change. I'm trying to work better with that. But it makes me go to when I run out of one color, it makes me go to another color and try something different. So that's why I am not bought one another one yet. And I love this palette. It is wonderful. I just love it. So all I usually do is take one of my brushes. And as I told you, I had Morphe brushes or Lux brushes. I don't know what number they are, what color they mean. I'm not an MUA. Get it. All right. So I like this this color here. It's called Smitten Sweet. I have it is gone. It's at the I mean, there's really nothing there, but I just go around the brim and I just put a little bit to give me a little color there. So it won't look so much like a foundation or like i got something extra there make it a little more natural i put that on and do it on the other side so after that i take another brush and this is a lux brush also i have so many different lux brushes because they came in the boxes of boxy charm so i got plenty of sets so i take the next color is called coffee bean that's this one right here i just broke into recently i love it because it leaves like a a dark lovely shade in the corner of my eye Get some depth to my eyes. So I love that. Put that on the side. And then I just blend them in. Blend, 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 blend. As they always say. And that's all I usually do with my eyes. That's it. Or every day. I sometimes put lashes on. I um I really don't like mascara because it makes my lashes feel so heavy. But there is one lash mascara I do use, and it's uh, something I bought at the drugstore. I think it's L'Oreal. I'm not for sure. It's in my bag somewhere, where my bag is at. But I put L'Oreal on my lash. Um, so he, my next thing I put is my foundation, and I love the Estee Lauder. There we go. Never the I Estee know. Lauder um, Double Wear uh, for matte finish. Um, I use six one. W sandalwood and that's it right there. So I put this on on my pan tray. And guys, I'm old and I ain't got time to be cleaning this thing up every day. I know I should be, but my brushes I clean every two to three days. My tray I clean every two to three days when I just get tired of it looking nasty. But I don't put much on my um, tray. I take my brush from Lux. Another Lux set. I think this is like the third set. Y'all didn't show just since I started this. I take it. I put a little stabs of do ya everywhere. I will be moving a little bit faster if I wasn't taping this guy. So it wouldn't take me this long. It's like a 20 minute process for me every morning. But talking and doing slows me down. 
I can see it, baby. All right, let me get over here. Thank you. Let me get my, my trusty. All right, guys. My sponge. I dab my sponge. Um, When it comes, I use my, to cover my face with foundation, I use a sponge. Um, This is my trusty one. I think I got this from e.l.f. If it's not e.l.f., I think it is e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. sponge. They're not expensive. Um, They work really well. I damp my sponge with my either um setting spade, finish setting spade. I think I use to damp it. Um, and I work it around. I put a little bit under my eyes, not a lot, because I don't want it to cake. That's where my sore spot is. Age is showing in my eyes. I get my ears and a little bit at my neck. I don't go all the way down on my neck. Because let me tell y'all something. It took me a while to figure out how to not have this makeup transfer on my white collars. That is really something that pisses me off when I go put on something and have makeup all over it. But I finally figured it out and I'll share that in a video soon. How I can stop your makeup from transferring. Because we all got it. Nobody really talks about it. But yeah, makeup get on every day on thing. You wear clothes that you like. Especially light clothes. All right, so there's my foundation on. Um, what I do next is I take my concealer, which is my Fenty 420 that I love. Love Fenty. Love Fenty. Love this concealer. It's either Fenty or Too Faced that I use. So I don't take a lot and put on my face. I dab in the corners over here. I dab on the corners down here. I cover only that part. I let that dry down. Then I take my Too Faced, excuse me, Born This Way, not Too Faced, yeah, Too Faced Born This Way, um, Sculpting Concealer in Chestnut. Here's a chestnut. And that is it. And this is what I use to highlight my face. I take a dab here. Over my cupid's bow, up my nose, above my brows a little bit, not much. And then I let that sit. I let it dry down. Um, and then I Daddy take my, shh, baby girl. Then I take my Ace Beauty and <laughs> Ace Beauty concealer pack. And I'm telling you, I love this um bronzer concealer. Not concealer, bronzer. We don't tell you how I love it because this is like my third or fourth one. I, I have another one over in my makeup kit, my makeup cabinet, and here I'll tell you how much I'm gonna go hit the pan because you know makeup costs a lot of money, and I'm buying my own, so I'm gonna hit the pan on all of mine, all of them. Huh. So I get my brush. Give me a baby girl. They gave me get a brush. Excuse me. Thank you. I get my brush, another Morphe brush. I go into the third one, the medium dark here. And I take my cheek, I swallow in, suck in. So my cheek has got high cheekbones. I have really high cheekbones. So I suck them in. And I work it around. To give me some shape in my face. I won't lay no flat. So I do that, roll it around. Then take the other side. Do the same thing. Then take it and go under my chin. Try to hide those double chins. You know, <laughs> y'all got them, girl. We get them. All right, so got that done. And before I bridge my nose, because I always do my nose bridge, the bridge is my nose, I try to take my sponge. And beat this in. And then to do this concealer that's been sitting, I look up and beat this down. 
because you see, I don't use a lot of concealer because I don't want it to cake and make me look older. And that's it. And then I take my derma blend and my triangle sponge. And I do not bake, I just dust. And this is translucent derma blend. I like this. I've tried all the setting sprays. I had Laura Mercier. I tried the one size. I've tried all of them. And this one works well when it comes to my um under eye and setting my face. So that's done. And then the next thing I do is take a brush. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm really I don't use a lot of blush. On my face um but the one blush i do use is the minted um this is an old one i've had for a while i don't know what i can't even see because i can't have my glasses i need to put my glasses on so i can see you know uh, i got my two eyes but i use the minted um and here's the color i use i think it's so pretty so i take that go on the back and pull it up Yeah, baby. Okay. Give me that. Maybe want some snacks. Here, baby girl. All right, and after I do that, I forgot to do the bridge on my nose with my bronzer. Take my e.l.f. brush. There's another brush. Take that same spot that I had earlier. And I just go from here. Down my nose, same side, down my nose. Then I take, give me baby girl, thank you. Take my triangle sponge, take it down, sponge it in. Take my setting spray and just when I come down my nose, bend my nose, because I wear glasses and makeup will move when they have your glasses. I mean, anybody can tell me how to keep makeup off my glasses, please let me know. Because I clean my glasses so much because I have so much makeup on them that I go down the bridge of my face where my laugh lines are to try to set that in so they won't crack so much. All right, that's all set in. And then the last thing I do is take my highlighter because I still wear highlighter. I don't wear a lot of it. Um, this is the True Luscious Lucky Glow Bronzer and Highlight Palette. It's this one. You can see that. Um. Uh. Let me tell you what you can tell which one I like. Right. You can tell it. Um, it is called Triple Sevens. Triple Sevens. It has all these pinky bronze in it. And I love it. I don't take a lot. I just put some on the bridge of my nose. Going up. I might sometimes put some on the side over here. And that is what I do when it comes to my everyday makeup. Um, I set it with my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray uh, by um, Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I love this. I either this or the, this one here. I try to use them out of this by Patrick Starr. Those are the two setting sprays I use. Um, so this is my travel one. And this is my everyday look. I might put on some lashes. I tell you, I don't like makeup. Let me excuse me, mascara. So this is my everyday look. All right, divas. Here's the final look. I hope you like what you see. I will list in the description box all the products I use. 
I didn't tape myself putting on my lipstick because I don't know. I don't usually wear lipstick if I can help it. I don't use a gloss because I don't like lip gloss. But if I do wear lip stain or lipstick, it's always going to be matte. Um, there are three brands I use. I always use um, ColourPop. And if it is, it's going to be um, in this lax color. Let me show that. I'll use this in ColourPop Lax. I don't even know if they still make this. That's how long it's been since I've had one. When I bought it, I bought like four or five of them. That's how long they last. Um, this is the another one I use is the lip bar. And Karatia or Karita, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's K R K A R I T Y. I have many of these. So those are the lip stains I use, and it's always matte. So hey, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, please hit the like button buttons um, subscribe comment share whatever thank you welcome to this wonderful channel where you might learn something or just get a laugh hey that's what i'm here for um but thank you all uh, rem uh remember to laugh hard that brain freeze right there <laughs> laugh often and live in the moments smooches